Welcome to our St. James Healing Service. May God bless you. Receive God's healing grace to comfort and support you. Amen. Hear God's word to all. The first reading today is 1 Kings chapter 17, verses 17 through 24. After this, the son of the woman, the mistress of the house, became ill. His illness was so severe that there was no breath left in him. She then said to Elijah, What have you against me, O man of God? You have come to me to bring my sin to remembrance and to cause the death of my son. But he said to her, Give me your son. He took him from her bosom, carried him up into the upper chamber where he was lodging, and laid him on his bed. He cried out to the Lord, O Lord my God, have you brought calamity even upon the widow with whom I am staying by killing her son? Then he stretched himself upon the child three times and cried out to the Lord, O Lord my God, let this child's life come into him again. The Lord listened to the voice of Elijah. Then the life of the child came into him again, and he revived. Elijah took the child, brought him down from the upper chamber into the house, and gave him to his mother. Then Elijah said, See, your son is alive. So the woman said to Elijah, Now I know that you are a man of God, and that the word of the Lord in your mouth is true. The word of the Lord. Second reading, Acts chapter 5, verses 12 through 16. Now many signs and wonders were done among the people through the apostles, and they were all together in Solomon's portico. None of the rest dared to join them, but the people held them in high esteem. Yet more than ever, believers were added to the Lord, great numbers of both men and women, so that they even carried out the sick into the streets and laid them on cots and mats, in order that Peter's shadow might fall on some of them as he came by. A great number of people would also gather from the towns around Jerusalem, bring the sick and those tormented by unclean spirits, and they were all cured. The Word of the Lord. The Gospel according to Matthew. While they were eating, Jesus took a loaf of bread, and after blessing it, he broke it, gave it to the disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will never again drink of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. When they had sung the hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and began to be grieved and agitated. Then he said to them, I am de deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and stay awake with me. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed. My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet not what I want, but what you want. The Gospel of the Lord. God shows love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. If we confess our sins, God is just and may be trusted to forgive our sins and cleanse us from every kind of wrong. In silence, we call to mind our sins. God of grace, we confess that we have sinned in what we have thought and said and done. Forgive us the sake of Jesus Christ. Through the cross of Christ, God have mercy on you, pardon you, and set you free. Know that you are forgiven and be at peace. God strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal. Amen. Like the first disciples before the coming of God's power at Pentecost, we wait in faith. Let us pray. Be with us, Holy Spirit. Nothing can separate us from your love. 
Be with us as of old. Fill us with your power. Direct all our thoughts to your goodness. Be present, Holy Spirit. Bring faith and healing and peace. Amen. The Lord is here. God's Spirit is with us. In the name of God Most High, we pray for all those in need, in our parish family, in our own families, and for those in pain or suffering or any trouble. We especially pray for our parish family, Jim, Jean, Bill, Anne, Catherine, Carolyn, Celia, Sarah, Dick, Bettina, Hamp, and Phyllis. We also pray for our family and friends, Joe, Faith, Jane, Brenda, Michelle, Walter, Elaine, Ann, Jana, Michael, Lisa, Linda, Bob, Stormy, Ed, John, Crystal, Gary, Jim, Eric, Jack, Grant, Luke, Sachi, Dave, Mary, Denise, Clint, Meg, Court, Richard, Honey, and Samantha. Please keep all of our military personnel in your prayers. Please pray for the following active military personnel. Samuel, Marcus, Hunter, Chad, Seth, Andrew. We give thanks for the following parishioners and family members celebrating birthdays this week. Catherine, Nelson, Bill, Linda, Mary, and Thomas. I invite your own intercessions and prayers for those you love and care for. God, our healer, keep us aware of your presence. Support us with your power. Comfort us with your protection. Give us strength and establish us in your peace. Receive Christ's healing that it may make you whole in body, mind, and spirit. The power of God strengthen you. The love of God dwell in you and give you peace. Amen. Now as Christ teaches us, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. God be a comfort and a strength to you. God be your hope and your support. God be your light and your way. And now, may the blessings of God, creator, redeemer, and giver of life, remain with you and your loved ones for this day and forevermore.